Hey, this is Anthony, RevZilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Nolan N91 modular helmet, available at RevZilla.com. So at a glance, the Nolan N91 modular is that two to $300 modular from Nolan on a polycarb shell. This is my matte black version, and it replaces the N90, which was a popular seller to my left. Moving into this year, they've made a handful of changes. I'm gonna tell you, some good, some bad. And remember, use a modular helmet, really, if you want the ability to go open face, it's a personal preference thing. So, looking at it, at a glance, new shell shape, increased ventilation coming out the back. They're the big key changes here. You're also going to notice a new vent configuration compared to the N90 I have on my left. Still a handful of colors, including the matte black I have in front of me, as well as the outlaw version. Now, with regard to some of the changes they make that I'm not a huge fan of, the helmet got heavier. It's closer to four pounds now. It's actually like three pounds, 15 ounces in change. That's about an ounce and change up from the older version, but guys, keep in mind, that's a heavy helmet. And if you need the modular factor, it's gonna come into play, but it will get heavy over time. And part of the reason is you see other premium modulars on the market that have a, a single hinge system versus a dual. That's where you're adding that extra weight along with the polycarb system. The other thing, with regard to the helmet that they've changed is the vent structure. Now, they're claiming that these vents are a little bit more efficient, certainly you have a bigger venturi out of the back, but if we look at the top, it's a different vent structure that's a little bit harder to use in my opinion, a little bit harder to operate, doesn't feel as smooth as the original N90 that I have to my left with the two position opening. You know, just my comments, my feedback. And the other thing, you know, we have moved to the N91, which now has more of a neutral fit shape, which I really like. It was a little bit more round here. Some guys like the round. I find that the neutral to intermediate shape is gonna fit more riders. I think that's a good thing. But the way that they've done the internal lining here, it's actually a little bit harder to get to now because the cheek pads come all the way out to the edges versus stopping and living on kind of their own area as you can see here in the 91. Again, or in the, the 90, the predecessor. Again, that's just my personal opinion of it. Now, remember too, if you're thinking about fit shape, we do ship for free, no worries there. You can always give us a shout if you need help thinking about the shape of your head. And as always, I'd love to hear your gut reaction. Click here, subscribe to us at RevZilla TV. Now, moving from the outside in, remember it's a polycarb head shape. It's going to be DOT rated, you know, polycarbonate allows you to hit that price point. And again, you're looking into that two to $300 range. If you spend a hair more, you could go into something like the Shoei Multitech, which was a flagship for a long time. I think that something like that is going to be a big step up comparatively when you think about feature set and fit and finishes. Looking at the, some of the details here as you move through the side, we talked about venting already. It's going to be a singular top vent, venting to the EPS. You know, you have the updated vent scheme out the back, which I do like with a more pronounced spoiler. And then you have your singular vent here on the front down here along the chin. When you begin to open it up, again, remember it is a modular helmet. Have that open face ability. And if we look here along the left, you're going to have this slide, which allows you to bring down the drop down sun visor. Now we do know that adding more weight, you have this function that comes par for the course, but it allows you to never have to change your shield. It's something that a lot of folks really like. It's kind of that all in one package. Depending on if you're looking with a, for a drop down sun visor, that would be one of the big upgrades over something like the Nolan N20. When you get back into the shield mechanism area, the shield change mechanism here along the left is actually quite easy. One of the easier from any types of helmets, you know, regardless of if it was a modular or not. Notice that it does have a pin lock post here and it's going to come with pin lock in the box. So your anti-fog is actually going to be via a pin lock lens. It's a nice add-on that you don't have to pay for later. Later, that's actually, in my opinion, a nice value add. And then looking at your iPort solid gasket, same iPort size and configuration that we saw on the N90. I thought it performed well, nice wide field of view. Again, that's a great feature that Nolan has done consistently well throughout their range of helmets. And really from this helmet, if we think about it, you know, moving into this season, minor changes here on the N91 as opposed to some of the major changes we saw going from the N43 to the 44, which is that Trilogy helmet which really got a complete overhaul. A couple other key points on the shell here before we dive into the guts. Keep in mind, it does come NCOM ready, and that's a good thing. That's the Bluetooth proprietary unit from Nolan, but if you look at the neck roll here, it's actually this plastic neck roll, and Nolan tends to do this a lot, and 
with this type of neck roll, as well as a non-speaker cutout area inside, what ends up happening is it becomes very hard to use an aftermarket Bluetooth system. So for those of you guys with Cena's and Cardo's and other types of Bluetooth units, it's not really gonna play well other than a sticky mount. So keep that in mind, guys. It's gonna be one of the things that you're gonna need to run into. Now, if I reach over here and I pull out my donut, I do like what they've done on the interior, on the guts here. It's an upgraded liner. You can see it's very premium in its fill. You're going to have the micrometric lock, which is very popular in Europe. You, Nolan's been one of the pioneers of this feature. We see it on most of their helmets. And if you look here on the inside, what I will call out though, is it's very difficult to remove the inner liner now. I'm actually not even going to do it. And you can see it's because this inner liner goes all the way around on almost the blade system. If I can get my hand in here, you're going to see that it almost snakes all the way around the outside of the cheek pads versus the inside, which makes it really, really tough compared to just sitting on top. And again, that's one of those things you have to keep in mind, depending on how you ride, depending on how often you take your inner comfort liner out and may wash it on a ride if you sweat heavily. That's going to be one of those features that's going to make your life a little bit more difficult if you're looking to make that change on the road. Again, personal opinion, but it is something that I see a lot of helmet manufacturers, including Nolan on some of their other shell models, doing a better job of making it easier to access the internal parts, especially looking at a helmet that's going to be over that $200 mark, but really designed for a multi-season touring, sport rider, somebody that's gonna put a high degree of miles on their bike. Again, that's what you're investing in because you're looking at something that's kind of that all-in-one package. The next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews of the Nolan N91 at RevZilla.com. Remember, these are my opinions at first glance, after some use, but you don't have to take my word for it. You can always expect us to ship for free on anything over 39 bucks. And as always, if you wanna call and talk to a gear geek on the phone and break down the N91 versus the N90 or any other mid-range modular helmet, give us a shout. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Nolan N91 modular helmet. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.